officially launched in 2007, a support program for water and sanitation services in the southern province of Rwanda, better known as the Paypipes program, is a collaborative project between the governments of Rwanda, Belgium and the European Union. Following two years of studies, the program came about as a response to the most pressing needs of the populations of Huye, Kisagara and Niaraguru districts, as expressed in their respective development plans from 2005. The program falls within the framework of the Vision 2020 Economic Development and Poverty Reduction Strategy, which aims to supply drinking water to the entire population and to put in place all necessary sanitation facilities, both individual and collective. In 2005, only 40% of people in Huyu, Gisagara and Niraguru districts were able to access safe drinking water within close vicinity to their homes. Lack of access to safe drinking water poses dangerous health risks and creates social challenges. Les élèves amenaient de l'eau de chez eux, mais c'était difficile parce que parfois les ai amenés les autres non. Et toi vous avez tout vu que vous m'avez quoi ça a tout rushé, quoi ça tout rushé, quoi ça a 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 tout rushé, Based on these facts, the program established clear targets that 80% of the beneficiary program would have access to safe drinking water from within 500 metres of their homes and that waterborne diseases be reduced by a minimum of 20%. L'eau, c'est la vie. Quand l'eau est sale, c'est la vie pour les microbes et les maladies, et donc ça finalement génère beaucoup de pauvreté. Et quand l'eau est propre, c'est l'inverse. Ça permet justement de, 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 de profiter aux plus pauvres et d'avoir les gens en bonne santé. Donc pour nous, c'est un élément essentiel de lutte contre la pauvreté, de faire en sorte que les personnes les plus démunies aient accès à de l'eau propre. Towards achieving these ambitious objectives, three different financing agreements have been signed over the course of the project. In 2005, a 5.8 million euros commitment was signed by the governments of Rwanda and Belgium. Then, in 2007, an additional agreement was concluded with the European Commission by means of their EU water facility program providing an additional 4.3 million euros. During the course of implementation, additional needs were identified. Further studies and a needs assessment were carried out, resulting in the program partners recommending water network enlargements to ensure a sustainable water supply. Thus, in 2009, a third agreement for 12.3 million euros was signed with the Belgian government to bring the total project cost to 23.5 million euros including the contribution of the government of Rwanda. Today we have to make sure that the, the, the initial funds allocated to the project are well managed and well spent and we have to make sure that the, the planned activities are executed according to the allocated funds. At the launch of the PAPOS program, the existing water supply infrastructure and distribution systems were deemed to be in a precarious state, while certain areas were inaccessible. In order to improve existing networks, a rigorous and systematic planning process was necessary. First, an inventory of available water resources was carried out in the three districts before the strategic plan was devised to supply safe drinking water to those communities currently without. To optimise the distribution of drinking water to the maximum number of beneficiaries, the project opted for a gravity system. The two water treatment plants installed are the first of their kind in Rwanda. They have a particularly innovative design which allows them to operate without any power source used to extract the water from the river. We have chosen a system of treatment without gravity to facilitate La, le coût d'entretien, le coût de maintenance. On voulait aussi résoudre le problème des, des réseaux dont les sources n'étaient pas suffisamment productives euh, en les interconnectant avec des, avec des réseaux qui étaient excédentaires. Et pour ce faire, on a dû réaliser des transferts euh, d'eau depuis des zones excédentaires vers des zones déficitaires en, réa en construisant des conduites de renforcement. Mais comment est la distribution organisée dans ces zones remotes 
Responsibility for maintaining the networks has been trusted to local private operators as part of a public-private partnership managed by the districts themselves. As part of the contract, private operators pay a monthly fee for the rights to sell water from access points installed in the various communities. The water is sold for about 15 to 20 Rwandan francs per 20 litres, a price fixed in advance and agreed with the WASA. Abahara peri dofre ugakora sumisi yoku karere, washi zemi vichiro, hariko wana sumye dao ngurewa mabugiri za sabgo. Nyuma waka za kura renoseregisio, vare wa ofre yawe teknike na finansi. Vundi waka guhitamu. La rejan ke nwa korton, a partir de la vente de seto, e rezerve a oz extension a la maintenance des ovraj. After six years of implementation, this project is really recording tangible successes. Close to 600 kilometres of water networks have been constructed and 600 access points have been installed in villages, schools and health centres. 200,000 more people now have access to safe drinking water in the three districts. Quand les malades viennent pour se faire soigner, ils ont besoin de l'eau pour boire, pour utiliser quand ils prennent des médicaments. Aussi pour le nettoyage du quotidien, on utilise pour le nettoyage des locaux. Et puis on a essayé de mettre dans les... tous les locaux, on a de l'eau. On a eu beaucoup de projets avec Pepaps et Ewasan, ce qui a fait que le pourcentage augmente. Au total d'accès dans le district de Houye, on est à 82%. Sanitation is a second concern of the project, and also a comprehensive implementation strategy was necessary. To facilitate future maintenance and encourage ownership of the systems by the local beneficiaries, Ecological or eco-sand toilets seem the most appropriate choice for schools. Les autres étaient de 1933, donc c'était vraiment des toilettes qui ne qui n'étaient plus conformes et on avait peur justement qui pouvait faire des dégâts avec les petits enfants. Zitara zatwa dega kuitu ma mobihuru kuvera zaba gari na nyaya. Iti ndi nuko tuzitu mamo uundi hakava mifumbire bakadia kuhinga mhimboga na mashu. On voit que quand on a utilisé son compost, la récolte se multiplie même trois fois. Ecosan toilets provide a double pit, enabling the diversion of urine and the recycling of water and nutrients contained within human wastes to return sanitized to the local environment as a natural fertilizer. In total, 1,093 toilet doors have been constructed in 81 schools in the three districts. These are servicing more than 60,000 students and close to 1,000 teachers. In addition to sanitation services in schools, there was also a pilot project to construct 25 family hybrid ecosan toilets in individual homes. These enable urine to be used as fertilizer. Based on the success of the pilot project, an additional 250 family toilets were built. Figures speak volumes, and there's no doubt that this project counts as a real success. Access to safe drinking water and sanitation services have been substantially improved in all three targeted districts of the southern province of Rwanda. Ce qui est fort intéressant, c'est que le projet est parvenu à sensibiliser le gouvernement, en particulier l'autorité responsable de, de l'énergie, de l'eau et de l'assainissement, à ce que toutes les infrastructures qui sont, place, qui sont en place, à ce que aussi tous les comportements qui sont en train de, de changer soient durables. Et, euh, et, et l'Union européenne, tant l'Union européenne que, que la coopération belge, 
euh, nous avons veillé à tout le temps à insister sur, cette, sur ces aspects-là et nous constatons que maintenant, vraiment, les choses sont, pris, euh, sont prises en main par, le, par les bénéficiaires et en particulier par le gouvernement du Rwanda. Le gouvernement a décidé de créer un organe ou un directorat within EWASA called the District Support Unit in order to support district and private operators to perform well or to improve their performance in management. EWASA has taken the, the, over the operation and management of infrastructure. As you are talking today, on the side of the infrastructure that we have, we have already trained and allocated engineers that are working on the, on the infrastructure implemented by CTB and, and EWASA. This project is left uh, with experience. Uh, because our engineers have worked alongside uh, Belgian engineers um, uh, and through that we have learned a lot uh, in terms of uh, project management, especially in the infrastructure development. However, for these impressive achievements to be sustainable and truly meaningful from the perspective of the beneficiaries, the target population must be actively involved in the changes that impact them Public awareness is crucial. A major campaign was launched to promote hygiene and gender issues in the three districts. To reach the maximum number of people possible, emissions were aired on the local radio station, Salus FM. 150 local community members were recruited, then trained by the program to carry out appropriate awareness activities within their own respective communities. Hygiene clubs have been established in schools and their members trained to spread the message of how important good hygiene practice really is within their own families and their communities. Strong management and active participation of all stakeholders throughout all phases of implementation has been vital to producing these positive outcomes over the last six years. The target of achieving 100% coverage of safe drinking water in Huya, Gisagara and Niraguru by 2020 still stands. But, of course, there is still a long way to go before every person in Rwanda has access to safe drinking water. On a absolument besoin qu que, que du soutien continue à ce niveau-là euh, et que peut-être d'autres bailleurs, d'autres donneurs s'investissent pour continuer le travail. L'autre chose, c'est que oui, on a fait 600 km de réseau, c'est bien, mais il y a encore des centaines de kilomètres de réseau qui manquent. Mais vraiment, le plus grand challenge, ce n'est pas l'argent, c'est le renforcement institutionnel pour qu'on gère les réseaux et qu'on ne doive pas les reconstruire dans 5 ans, dans 10 ans, dans 15 ans. Et nous allons notre expérience operate and manage infrastructure to provide good service to our people uh, so that we, th this infrastructure will last uh, very long. So the DC will have no role in this particular uh, infrastructure in terms of operating and managing them. It will be the role of EWASA to operate and manage this infrastructure. Their role will be to ensure good service and also to, be, to monitor whether EWASA is giving the right service to the population.